Hello and welcome to another podcast with me, Mr. Matt Paul. And today we're going to be looking at why did Adolf Hitler hate the culture of the Weimar Republic? And in particular, we're going to be looking at the new avant-garde cultural movements within the golden years of the Weimar Republic from 1924 to 1929. Now, to begin with, I'd like to start with painting new objectivity. Now, I must, I must, must confess, I'm not a particular fan. Now, supposedly, this was supposed to be more realistic and less idealised. However, if you look at it, it does look pretty degenerate and gruesome. So I must say, from an idealistic uh, artistic point of view, I'm not a great fan. But, you know, all painting is subjective. It was certainly, like all of this culture, a great change from what was previously in Germany in world or prior to World War One. Moving on, cinema changed quite a lot and director Fritz Lang introduced a classic film called Metropolis, which was very modern and quite cold, quite unfeeling, quite un-Germanic, quite nicht Deutscher. And Marlena Dietrich, who was of Jewish origin, played quite a sexy gender non-conformist role in many Hollywood films which were popular in Germany. Thus, the culture had changed, and a lot of this was from American influence, in particular cabaret and nightlife and jazz, music of black origin. Hitler and traditional Germans would have said this was nicht Deutsch, not German. It had a strong Jewish influence, and in many parts of Germany there was acceptance of homosexuality. Moving on, not only did nightclubs and film and painting change but architecture changed as well and there was a Bauhaus movement art and technology a new unity simple shapes now if you look at the shapes of these buildings they look like truly modern 1960s you would not have thought that they would have been developed in the 1920s because they just look so modern however despite of all this wonderful new culture which emerged in a very tolerant and uber liberal Weimar Germany this was mainly limited to the cities and the people in the rural areas, the elderly who were not used to such uh, dynamic cultural changes, and particularly those in the army, were not fans of homosexuality, jazz, women acting in a very sexual manner, strange art and buildings of odd shapes that were very, very different to what was like before, life like before the Kaiser. It's very important um, to state that the golden years were completely dependent on American money. All of this culture, all of this modern dynamic completely rests on American dollars. And without this, there are no golden years of the Weimar Republic. Now, I'd like to just uh, elaborate upon something from my personal experience. I once lived in a developing country in the Middle East, and I lived in Riyadh. Now, in Riyadh, you would notice that uh, there were women that would wear quite modern clothing in comparison with women outside of Riyadh, especially on the compounds. As soon as they left the compound and went to more rural parts of Saudi Arabia, they would make sure that they were dressed very conservatively. Now, the reason for that is because there's a distance, an extreme distance between life in the city and life in the countryside. You may have noticed, uh, and this is another good comparison, on Brexit voting patterns between those people who live in London, you've got London hipsters who think they're very modern, and if you go out into Kent and go to areas like, areas like Folkestone, you'll soon notice that there's a quite, quite a different culture and that people in the more rural areas are more likely to vote conservatively, i.e. they would have voted for Brexit, and people who live in London think that they're more open-minded and liberal and would have voted to remain. Now, what I'd like you to do is think about these differences in culture uh, in Germany. And I'd like you to answer these three questions. Can you describe the features of the golden years? Why was there a golden era between 1924 and 1929? And why did some groups object to these cultural changes? Why did some groups think that these changes were nicht Deutsch? And on that note, I'd like to end. And I look forward to you filling out those questions. Thank you.